when I got there, I saw a lot of things that I thought were wrong. And one was in South Carolina, legislators didn't have to show their votes on the record. All their voting was by voice vote. And I watched this bill get read across the desk. And I tell this in the book, and they said um, they were increasing their pensions for themselves. All in favor say aye, all <laughs> opposed nay, the ayes have it. And there it was. And I went to my speaker, the Republican leadership, and I said, we are Republicans. What did we just do? What I don't understand. And the next day I went and I said, I'm filing a bill that says anything important enough to be debated on the floor of the House or the Senate is important enough for legislators to know how they vote. My leadership said, put the bill away. We don't need to have it. We will decide what the public needs to see and what they don't. I remember I've got my husband in the room. Michael, stand up and wave and let everybody see you. <laughs> I remember going to Michael that night and saying, if I can't so much as even get legislators to vote on the record, I don't need to be here. And I made a decision knowing that there could be harm to fight anyway. And I took on the fight. I went across the state and I said, did you know of all bills passed in the House, only 8% were on the record? Did you know of all bills passed in the Senate, only 1% was on the record? And then I said, if you didn't know how the legislators in the House voted 92% of the time, if you didn't know how your senators voted 99% of the time, how did you know who to vote for at the polls? And South Carolina was astonished. 